Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, my name is Roshan and in today's video I'm going to show you how to replace the internal keyboard of Acer Aspire E1531. E1531 is the model number and there are a couple of models associated with this particular model like 531G and so on. So all these models should support the same replacement method and it's a very simple method. All you need for this is a you know, flat head screwdriver, actually it's not a Venus screwdriver, it is just a tester uh, lying around, so it has a flat head and uh, it's very narrow as you can see i hope is it it's in focus i guess so i guess you can see that so it's that simple so before moving on i'd like to warn you uh, uh, like to give you a warning uh, just please listen to what i have to say then uh, do your thing so not everyone has the you know financial capacity to you know, replace a keyboard so uh, first analyze your situation and anal analyze the problem of the keyboard if uh, one or two keys are not working then you can just uh, use an external keyboard if it's available for you like an old one or you can borrow it from a friend or something you can use it for a while and uh, even if it gets worse then try to replace it just don't spend money for that right now and uh, and the, if the problem is like if one or two keys are messing with your you know, system itself like when you're typing in the password uh, the that particular key is just getting typed in the password section or when you're browsing that uh, uh, that particular key is getting typed in and messing you with your search results so that is one of the things uh, which is more notorious while uh, people face in an internal keyboard so what i did is i just uh, removed the keycap the, my, in, my, in, in my case it was the letter q i hope you can see that i just removed the keycap and that solved the uh, problem so if you could do that uh, then just you don't have to replace the keyboard and you can use the virtual keyboard on your computer to you know adjust the key so that's the one of the thing i did but if you are determined you need to replace the keyboard then i'm gonna uh, give you some advice first note down the model number uh, model number of your computer do an extensive search don't take my word for it just do an extensive search find a good guide if uh, this particular laptop my laptop is similar to yours then you can use this guide it's a very simple method and buy a replacement keyboard search online get a keyboard so i bought it already so i bought it off flipkart i'm in india so i bought it for like 630 rupees it's almost nine dollars i guess so that's the price i had to pay for this replacement keyboard and uh, yes do an extensive search get a good deal on the replacement keyboard and uh, you're good to go so I, so I showed you the tool, it's not advanced tool or something, it, was a, it is just a flat head screwdriver. Uh, so you can use that. Before moving on, I'll just show you the laptop. So this is the laptop, Acer Aspar E1531. So I'm gonna just open this, this is the laptop. And uh, yes, it's an old laptop. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first what you need to do is just, you know, remove the laptop battery just remove the battery open up the laptop and to the right of the laptop on the top right key on the end key you should see a notch popping out just press it inside and the that part should lift up and now what you need to do is find out the other notch which is popping out so it is on the delete key just press it inside and that should also come up so with your nail you can just pull this one side up so as you can see I am able to so as you can see I am able to pull this one side up hope you can see that let me zoom in now hope you can see I can pull this one side up so now there are total of six notches so I have already removed two now there is the third one just push it inside and put pressure on this particular finger side just try to lift it up and just put pressure on this part here and it came up now there is the fourth one same same method just simply push it inside and that's open now this fifth one push it and the last one 
push it and the keyboard is up now slowly press it in the front you should see the ribbon that is connecting connecting the this keyboard to the laptop just pull it backwards pull it back and it is removed okay so now let me bring the replacement keyboard so here is the replacement keyboard and we are going to do the same method just push back the ribbon in so i have successfully pushed in the ribbon inside and it's fixed now what you need to do is just you can see the bottom part here just place it inside and just give it a good press you can see the clack all right that's it you're done now close the laptop put the battery in turn the laptop on see if it's working and uh, it should work if you did it all right so that's it so guys i hope this video helped you and if it did please do let me know in the comment section and also subscribe like and uh, yeah, share this with your friends and if this saved you a lot of money, then just uh, donate some part to me so that I can survive, you know, uh, drink some coffee. Actually, my laptop needs a replacement, so you guys should help me out. So there's a PayPal link down in the description. And also for Indian users, there's a UPI link, UPI ID. You can donate me as much as you want and uh, keep watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye.